I, um, I was about eight years old, uh, just maybe a couple months shy of my ninth birthday, and uh, was sexually assaulted by a school teacher. It was, you know, I was a good girl and I was a straight A student and I knew what I was and wasn't supposed to do. So in leaving the school, you know, I'll fast forward, I left the school with this teacher to go and get uh, supplies from his house. He was a substitute teacher and I was uh, the teacher's helper. He was uh, going to be a long-term sub. It was a trusting, you know, you were told that teachers and police officers and certain people in the community that you just could trust. So I, there was no hesitation. There was no don't do this. There was no butterflies in the stomach. Um, it was just go. And I did that. And from there we wound up at his house because the products that he did show me in the car weren't what he needed. He, he needed something that was at the house. When I got upstairs, he handed me a box. So, of course, now the story is complete. We really are getting these things because I have this box. And as he approached me with the box, I started seeing something that just didn't look the same. Even in my little girl head, I knew something wasn't right. And I looked in this person's face and I saw what real evil looked like. Didn't understand it at the time, but there was a evilness there. And from there, things progressed and this was a full context for it. This was not little girl being touched inappropriately. This was bad. It was really bad. Um, but I, I left there after some very degrading things and he took me back to school and dropped me off and I'm standing by the car waiting for him like nothing happened and he pulled off and he never even returned to the school, never returned to the class. So of course, you know, we get back to the, I get back to the class and the question is like, where's the teacher? Something must have really happened bad for him to not be here. And I'm thinking in my head, oh my God, it's my fault. You know, immediately as a child, I took responsibility for it. And it has been my responsibility in my mind and in my heart all of these years, no matter what I've done over the years, um, worked in battered shelters, worked with abused children, you know, done whatever I could do to fix my heart, to make me feel better about what happened. I never lost that place of thinking that all of this was my fault. And that's where the journey begins for me. The journey starts at trying to not heal from what happened, but to heal from the guilt of what I should have never had to carry. I was a child. That journey had to go that way. The healing or lack of healing had to be just what it was for me in order for me to stand in the truth now that I know I have to stand in. I stand in the truth that has been made easy, and I do mean easy for me, here in a business class, a small group business class, where there was so much comfort. I kept telling them, I don't know how much business I'm learning, but I'm learning me. And there was no way that I could do the business that God has me doing now had I not come to that place in that class. Nowhere else would have made sense for me. I was supported. There was never a moment where I felt judged. I'm praying that whoever needs this story, be it someone in this church or someone you can just tell about the story, I pray that it makes a difference.